Hey guys, it's Splice Wave here, and in this video I'll be showing you how to extract your PlayStation Home cache data if you have any. Now you're probably wondering why I'm making this video, and why should you bother to do this. Well the main reason is so more and more content from PlayStation Home can be added back into my server, as I like to think of cache data as fuel for this project, as without it there won't be any new content, as there's no other way to get it unfortunately. And if you're wondering about your privacy or security, don't worry. In cache data, it doesn't have your PSN name or anything like that in it. It's just content you downloaded from when you played PS Home, which is what I'm looking for. Anyways, let's get started. So the way to check if you have PS Home cache data or not is by going onto your PS3 and then going to the PlayStation Network tag and then go down to where PlayStation Home would be, which is between PlayStation Plus and the PlayStation Store. And if it's not here, then unfortunately that means you don't have cache data. But if it is here, press triangle, then go to information. And if the creation date is before March 31st, 2015, then it means you have cache data, which is good. Now let's go over how to extract this cache data. First thing is that your PS3 will need to be on either HEN or custom firmware. And if you need a video tutorial for that, there's one for HEN that you can find linked in the video description. And the reason for this is so we can install a PS3 homebrew application called Multiman. We will also need a USB drive format to FAT32, so let's move over to PC in order to download Multiman. And here we are on PC. Now if you haven't already, plug in your USB storage drive. And now let's go to our browser. And then what you want to do is go to this link, which is in the video description, to download PS3 homebrew Multiman. And it will take you to this website. And then what you want to do is go down to this one here. It might be different by the time you're watching this video, but click download and let it download. And as you can see, it's finished downloading. So now we can close out of the browser. And now we can go into File Explorer. So let's go down to File Explorer, go to Downloads. As you can see, it's in here. So now what we want to do is copy this file and put it onto our USB drive, make sure it's formatted to FAT32, but you probably know how to do that now. So now we just place it on here. And now we safely eject our USB drive, just like this. And now unplug it and plug it back into your PS3. And now let's move back over to our PS3. Okay, now we're back on PS3. So now the first thing to do is if you're on HEN, enable HEN. And then once you've done that, go to Package Manager. Install package files, standard, and that PKG we just put on our USB drive that we've now plugged into our PS3 will be here. So now just install it. As you can see, it's finished installing. So now it will appear here as Multiman. So now we can just launch it. And now once you're on Multiman, let's go all, all the way to the left and go to File Management slash MMOS and then click X on it. And now for the controls for this, use the right stick to move the mouse and then double click X to open something. And there's also D-pad left to go back and then circle for options. But anyways, now go up to PS3 root and then go to dev HD zero. And then go to game. And then as you can see, we've got NPA quadruple zero five. Now cache may also be in NPA triple zero ten and MPEA is zero 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 one three. But for this tutorial, we're going to show you how to do it with NPA quadruple zero five, but it's the same thing for the others. But anyways, once you have found this folder, then what you want to do is press X on it to open it. And we just want to check something inside it. And then go to USR DIR. And then as you can see, there's this cache folder here. Now, if it's cache underscore and then something, that's not the cache that we want. That's basically new cache and we already have everything in it, basically. What we want is this cache folder right here. But anyways, now we can go back. And now what we can do is we can press X on MPA Quadruple 05, then press circle to bring up this menu, then click X on copy. And then now we can press D-pad left again. And again, to go back, and then we're gonna go down to dev USB 001. It might end with a zero, but the number isn't important, just dev USB will do. And then we wanna open that. And then now we wanna press circle again, and then click paste. And then select yes. And now we let it copy over. 
And as you can see, it's finished copying. So now what we can do is we can turn off our PS3 and move back over to our PC. And also let's unplug the USB from our PS3 and plug it back into the PC. So now I'll show you what to do with it there. And here we are back on PC with our USB drive plugged in. So now let's go to File Explorer. And as we can see, we can see our 16 gigabyte USB drive. As we can see, we have the folder right here. Now you can take it from here and let's say we go into copy it and then go into somewhere like your desktop, for example. So let's go to here and let's create a folder and let's call it cache upload. And then what we're going to do is put it in here and let it copy. And as you can see, it's finished copying over. So now what we can do is we can right click it. And now we can either go to send to compressed zip folder, or we can do this add to MPA quadruple zero five dot ra. So let's do that. And as you can see, it's finished packing it into a raw file. So now what we can do is we can open our browser and we need to find a place to upload this to. So you can either put it on, I recommend either Google or Mega. So what I'll show you is let's go to Mega, for example, just like this. You'll have to sign in, obviously. And then what you want to do is go to upload, upload file. And then let's go to where we had that file, which was desktop, cache upload, and then upload this raw file right here. And as you can see, it's finally finished uploading. So what we now need to do is go onto it, go to these three dots, share link, and then copy it. And then what you want to do is go onto my Discord server. There's a link in the video description. And then what you want to do is go down to PS Home Caches and Files and then simply paste in the link right here, just like that. And then you're done. That's it. Anyways, guys, that brings us to the end of the video, and I hope you all enjoyed it. Like I said at the beginning, PS Home Cache Day is how new content comes in. So if you have any or you know of anyone with Cache Data and want to help out, this is truly the best way to do that. Also, I've got more videos coming soon, so stay tuned for that. But until then, take care and peace.